L is Saturn. The Phoenicians regarded El Saturn as their chief deity, as Ebius informs us that El, a name used also in the Bible as a name for God, was the name of Saturn. One of the favorite Canaanite and Israelite gods was El, who was the same as the Roman Saturn. And Israel proclaimed as Saturn, El being the same name of Bel Saturn, Azar, or Izar being connected immediately with Azar, Osiris, and Azar, Mars, the god of spring, fire, and war. Also solar in nature is the god Saturn, who was the same as El, the Canaanite slash Israelite god. The identity of the creator king is the planet Saturn seems to occur throughout the ancient world. The Canaanite, and Hebrew, El closely corresponding to the Sumer Babylonian On, Onu, was Saturn. Cronus then, whom the Phoenicians call, Elus, who was king of the country and subsequently, after his decease, was deified as the star Saturn. Thus Isaiah locates the throne of El, originally the planet Saturn, in the farthest reaches of the north. El, the sun god of the Syrians, the Egyptians, and the Semites, is declared by Plate to be no other than Set or Seth, and El is the primeval Saturn Israel. Shiva is an Ethiopian god, the same as the Chaldean Balbel, thus he is also Saturn. Saturn, El, Seth and Gion, or the biblical Kion of Amos, are all one and the same deity. They are thus identified both with the planet and the god, Shiva, who are, in their turn, shown the prototypes of Saturn, who is the same as Bel, El, Baal, Shiva, and Jehovah Sabaoth. For Jehovah is the generic name of that group or hierarchy of creative planetary angels, under whose star their nation has evolved. He is one of the planetary Elohim of the regent group of Saturn. El, Bel more complete, Peloton, the old Bell, whom the Greeks name Kronos, the Romans Saturn, and indeed the planet of this name, claims in Semitism before all gods the first rank. The Phoenicians and Syrians call Saturn, El and Bel and Bol Athen. The word Israel itself, far from being a Jewish appellation, may come from the combination of three different reigning deities, Isis, the Earth Mother God is revered throughout the ancient world, Ra, the Egyptian Sun God, and, El, the Semitic deity passed down in form as Saturn. El was one of the earliest names for the God of the ancient Hebrews, whence, Emmanuel, Michael, Gabriel, Samuel, etc. and his worship is reflected in the fact that the Jews still consider Saturday as, God's day. The Hebrew El and Adon, Tammuz, are names of Saturn. The Babylonian Bel, like the Ancient of Days in Daniel, 7-9 is the boundless time before creation, the unrevealed primal being. In the ancient account of Sankhuniathan, the great god El, Kronos slash Saturn, acquires supremacy, in a certain place in the center of the earth. The Canaanite El is addressed as, Bull God while the Greek Kronos is, the horned god. If, Yahweh, was, the bull of Israel, Helios was the, Adenian bull. Which brings us to Moloch. Saturn is Moloch. To Saturn Moloch the Israelites, Mobites and Phoenicians offered up their children. His name was El in Phoenicia, from Elah, to, go up, ascend, in the heaven, as the sun rise and the Israelites were, at least at a late period, directed to perform no manual labor on Saturday, Saturn's day. And Moloch the king, the idol of the Ammonites and Phoenicians, was intimately connected both with the solar bull and the planet Saturn, his statue was of brass, with a human body but the head of an ox. In Hebrew, Kav means to die, to perish, to become extinct, Kibo means to descend to Hades. Israel, a name of Saturn, goes down, in that direction. Keb is Saturn. Kronos was mourned as the winter sun, Keb is Saturn Moloch Kronos. 
The sun, Bel, Ammon, Keb, Seb, is both Saturn, Kronos, Typhon and Sol. Ammon Keb is consequently the concealed light under the earth. The Israelites in Egypt adored El Saturn as Moloch, who from his bad side is Typhon. The origin of child sacrifice in the ancient Near East seems to lie in Phoenicia and its Mediterranean colonies. Such sacrifices have been offered to the Canaanite god El, Greek Kronos, Latin Saturn, who was perceived to be the father of the gods, the creator of creatures, the father of humankind, the eternal king, the ancient of days, the kindly and compassionate god, the god of boundless wisdom. The Arabian Dionysus is Moloch Saturn with offerings of slaughtered men and children. When the Greeks and Latins spoke of Moloch, they always gave him the name of Kronos or Saturn. Thus there can be no doubt that the god to whom the Carthaginians sacrificed children was no other than Moloch. And the writers of Greece and Rome always denominate this cruel deity Kronos and Saturn. When the fire worship existed everywhere and superstition guided by priests was in full sway, the worship of Dionysus Moloch, Saturn, the devourer of children, prevailed in Syria. To Kronos, Saturn, the Phoenicians sacrificed every year the beloved and only begotten children. To Saturn as wicked demon, Typhon, the Egyptians offered animals and men in the darkness. The reference to Saturn occurs in Amos 5 25 to 26, Did ye bring unto me sacrifices and offerings in the wilderness forty years, O house of Israel? Yea, ye have borne the tabernacle of your king, Moloch, and the shrine of, Kion, your images, the star of your god, which ye made images to yourselves. In Acts 7 41 to 43 it reads and they made a calf in those days, and brought a sacrifice unto the idol, and rejoiced in the works of their hands. Did ye offer unto me slain beasts and sacrifices forty years in the wilderness, O house of Israel? And ye took up the tabernacle of Moloch, and the star of the god Rephan, the figures which ye made to worship them? The difference between the names Kion and Rephan, is due either to Rephan being a local Egyptian name for the planet Saturn, and therefore used by the LXX as its equivalent, or to an actual error of transcription in the text from which they were translating, the initial of the word being taken as Rish when it should have been Kaf, I instead of K. The word should therefore be transliterated Kaivan, which is also the name of the planet Saturn. The first is El, God, and Moloch, the second is Ir and Moloch. The worship of Malash, or Moloch had in the most ancient period united itself with that of El Saturnus. A king of Mob offered up his oldest son, his destined successor, on the wall, a sacrifice to Saturn Adonis, or Dionysus Moloch, a sakal, the fire that consumes or eats. The fire of Saturn surrounds the Ancient of Days. The god that answers by fire lets him be god. 1 Kings 1824 in Greece, the oldest Dionysus appeared as this fire god Moloch Ariel. He was the Phoenician and Arabian Baal Saturn, the Hebrew El Moloch. In Israel it was considered to be a foreign rite and of Canaanite origin, assimilated to the cult of the Greek Kronos or the Roman Saturn, who is none other than Baal Hamon, Jeremiah 19.5. Greco-Roman sources report that the Carthaginians burned their children as offerings to Baal Hamon. Attributes of his Romanized form as an African satin indicate that Hamon was a fertility god. Ancient Greek writers identified him with the Titan Cronus. In ancient Rome, he was identified with Saturn. Since El was normally identified with Cronus and Baal Hamon was also identified with Cronus, it seemed possible they could be equated more often a connection with Hebrew slash Phoenician. Aman Brazier has been proposed, in the sense of, Baal, Lord, of the Brazier. The worship of Moloch Saturn ruled in this land thoroughly. The deity had here a six-cornered black temple, the priests were clad in black, offerings were made to him on the seventh day, Saturday, 
The heavenly image of Moloch was the planet Saturn. James of Sarug says, the Israelites worshipped Saturn. The Sabaeans called him the god of the Jews. The Sabbath is Saturday, Saturn's day. Now, it is a suggestive though imperfect coincidence that among the ancient Semites, who consecrated the seventh day, that is Saturday, to their supreme and sinister deity Saturn, the planet most distant from the sun, the priests on that day, clothed in black, ministered to the god in his black six-sided temple he having made the world in six days, the perfect number? In fact, L is Saturn, Saturn is Moloch. Saturn? For I am the god of a thousand names.